please. I got I should you do the loud command like so and you need a bracket in the Y two K. I learned this in college about five years ago and it's been well worth it. There we go. Save that off. And then it should you should do this now. It should let you do this. There we go. You see? When this comes in, you can break it all round. I think a really good tool to use on Cinema for D. As you can see, that it is now different. You use me R square. But now we say it's like. Let's move on to the texture. The texture, to make your texture, go and find at the bottom a new texture, new material. Now you have a new material. Name it whatever you want. I'm going to call my really cool, cool texture. Because it's going to be so cool. And when you find the image now, you can actually use the image, which I'm going to do. Uh, I'm going to use the document. Okay. There you go. There you go. I I I do my favorite phrase. As you can see, we can put a whole lot here and put it under there. No, my friend on the thing on the spaceship. He really wants to be the spaceship. Let's see if it's a good look at. There we go. If 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 you want to do it as that kind of so that the spaceship. Like this, and put them up, and it'll still like, make it audible. It's like, it really cool that you can do that. You can grab these again, and maybe extrude it. Maybe, I love, I love this too. It's good made of this food. You can do a wacky kind of thing, like that. As you can see, it's a little right now. There we go. I'm going to see it on the other side. Actually, you can see pretty cool this. And I think it's good. Like that. Make it side up. I mean, yeah. Grab this one. There we go. That is my next final space. Go around your right. There you go. Right. If you want to make it look really cool, you can make a base like put over there. It's a floor implement. And we can do our sort of this. I have I teach a lot in the other tutorials. And right. We need to make a new file material like go and make it all white like that. Take all these other ones off, you don't need them. They don't look silly. Right, we'll add that to the floor, and then we'll, uh, we'll add light, and we're gonna put it over here. We're gonna call it, we'll make an only one, and then we're gonna make a shadow, make a soft shadow. We're gonna copy and paste that, and then it over there. Now, if we render it, it should produce two different shadows from two different lights. Oh wait, we need to put them back over there. I, I click the render button. There we go. And that is how you render your final object. Okay. That's all the basic stuff you need to know for some sort So, if I join you again in some of my more other basic tutorials on Cinema 4D. Thank you, and goodbye.